All right, back in Luke here. Today what I'd like to do is tell you guys how to get a Jurassic Park PCB to work off your home super gun or jam a cabinet. Now, normally when you find these uh, PCBs, if you're looking on the auctions or you're able to find one uh, for sale, they usually go for a pretty high price. Around $400 is what I saw on the, uh, the auctions or on eBay. But if you can find one for a cheap price, these are some things that you can do to get this thing to work off your home super gun or any arcade cabinet that's JAMA compatible. The first thing that you're going to want to do is uh, take a look at IC8. This is a 16-bit 40-pin EEPROM. And luckily, a great guy by the name of Kretschy123, uh, a uh, YouTuber here, was able to figure out the problem with this EEPROM. And the main problem with this uh, board is that since it came out of a cabinet with a hydraulic setup, the hydraulic system needs to be connected in order for the game to start up. So without doing any manipulation to this EEPROM here, the game will sit in a loop saying that the drive board is bad. But Kretschy123 was able to figure out the problem. He changed some of the code here in this EEPROM through MAME and was able to get the, car, uh, the board to start up. So, first things first, uh, I would definitely go over and take a, uh, a look at his channel, ask him a couple of questions about the EEPROM. I'm not sure exactly how he reprogrammed it, but I'm sure he'd be able to give you some advice on that. But he was able to get that going, and once he uh, changed that, I was able to get uh, the game to start up. Now, some things that I figured out on my own here that I'd like to share with you guys are about the, uh, the wiring of the game itself, um, the controls, and uh, the video uh, for this. Although, if you take a look at this uh, edge connector here, this is a JAMA compatible uh, connector. It doesn't use all but maybe 10 or 11 of the, uh, the pins on this. It doesn't use all of them. And if you have everything connected to this at one time, uh, you can probably cause more trouble for yourself than what's needed. What I mean by that is the board itself only needs the uh, negatives on both ends, needs the plus 5, needs plus 12, you need uh, red, green, blue uh, sync, you need the coin in, you need uh, player 1 start, player 2 start, player 1 button 1, and player 2 button 1, and that's it. If you have any other controls hooked up to it, like if you take a look at this connector here, uh, I have uh, player uh, player one button two, player two button two, I have the joystick all connected. What I found out uh, just by accident was I accidentally tapped the, um, the joystick for player one up and the game itself changed the angle to where it was just looking at the sky and the, the picture went all, all kind of fuzzy and when I readjusted it back down it went back to normal so you don't want any of these controls hooked up uh, if you have player one button two hooked up or player two button two hooked up and you press that button it'll decrease all of your energy <laughs> um, these are some things that you don't want to have hooked up so the only key points that you need hooked up or the key wires that you need hooked up are your negatives you need your plus 5, your plus 12, your red, green, blue, your sync, you need a coin in, you need player 1 start, player 2 start, player 1 button 1, and player 2 button 1, and that's it. Um, to make this so that you can uh, use a regular JAMA harness, uh, you can do one of two things. You can either make an adapter for this and have one that slides on here and then has different wires that are uh, attached to a fingerboard, or you can do something what I did here. I wound up soldering the wires that I needed. Uh, this is uh, the coin in, this is player one start. On the bottom is player two start. Uh, this is player one button one, and on the bottom, uh, if you can see down here, I don't know if you can see, is uh, player one, uh, or player two button one. That's all I did, is I just soldered it directly to the board. The reason for that is because I didn't have a fingerboard here, an extra fingerboard, and uh, as long as you have these uh, pins connected here, you really don't have to worry about anything else. Uh, if you hook this up to your uh, JAMA cab, you're not going to have any trouble as long as you don't press the uh, player two button, uh, button two, or uh, press the joystick up and down. As long as you just leave the control panel uh, alone, you'll be all set. What I did here is I wired these to a kind of easy connect, disconnect uh, um, connector here, and that allows me to remove the joystick, which I had made up if you saw my last video. And on this connector here, this is the CN2. If I pull this off, 
This is uh, another board that's connected to the main board. This has uh, 20 or 18 pins on it, sorry. And uh, with these 18 pins on it, you're only gonna wind up using eight of them. And if you look here from the far right, this is pin one. Uh, the way this will work is pin one is gonna be your plus five volts for uh, player one. And this is going to be your uh, X and your Y, or basically your horizontal, your vertical, and then your ground. And these are going to be used for the potentiometers. Since this game runs off of potentiometers, it runs off of uh, basic gun, tr gun controls like um, uh, Terminator 2 and, uh, ha, what is the other one, uh, Beast Busters uh, for the Neo Geo. These are basically just uh, the ones that you'll need. These are the only wires that you'll need here. These are going to be for player one. Uh, taking a look down here, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Starting from uh, pin number seven, seven and eight, this is going to be your plus five volts. You're going to have your X. And nine, ten, eleven will be your Y. And then you'll have your ground on twelve. Uh, these are going to be for player two. Now with the uh, pots themselves, you can connect the uh, Y and X positive, uh, the plus five uh, wire to the plus five here, and you can connect the X and Y uh, negative to this wire here, and then connect the data to both of these cables. The X is here and the Y is here. And the same thing with uh, player two just make sure to connect those up. Once you connect those up, you're all set. You'll have the game uh, functioning, you'll have all of your controls working. Uh, like I said here, these are going to be all of your left, right, up and down. These are going to be your shooting buttons down here, and this will be your coin in buttons and start buttons. And that's all you need for this game. And if you have any other questions, I know this video might not be exactly uh, perfect and there might be some things that uh, you might have questions about. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to contact me or contact uh, Kretschy123 and hopefully one of us will be able to give you some more insight on how this board works. But just wanted to try and give you guys a little bit of insight here as to how to wire up one of these boards if you ever come across one of them. And that's about all for me for right now. Like always, I'll put up another video here soon. So, thanks for watching.